Welcome to Tally Health Videos. In this video, we will look at the process to generate e-invoice online from Tally Prime. The e-invoice process in Tally Prime is designed as an extension to the regular voucher entry process. With minimal intervention from you, it does everything from uploading the details required for generating e-invoice to updating IRN number of the e-invoice in the voucher. The entire process is very simple. While recording your sales invoice, set the option Provide e-invoice details to Yes. Now, the e-invoice details screen is shown. Enter the Bill to Place and Ship to Place details if this is the first e-invoice with the party. From the next transaction onwards, these details will be pre-filled based on previous transaction. You can change these if required. Save the invoice details. Save the voucher. Select Yes to confirm the generation of e-invoice. The e-invoice API user login screen appears. Enter the username and password. The login credentials will be valid for 6 hours provided Tally Prime has not been closed. In a multi-user environment, each user will have to provide the credentials for API login. The details of the voucher required for generating e-invoice are uploaded to e-invoice portal. After successfully generating the e-invoice, the IRN details will be downloaded and updated in the voucher. Once the update is completed, a success message is shown. You can print the voucher. The e-invoice information along with QR code are printed in the invoice. In case the invoice is eligible for e-way bill, it will also be generated as per the standard process. However, if the invoice is only for e-way bill, the process needs to be carried out offline. In case the data entry is done by one person and verified by another, you may want to save the voucher and send for e-invoicing later. In such cases, you may disable the option Send e-invoice details after saving the voucher under F12 to No in Sales Invoice. Once this option is disabled, you can send details for e-invoice using Send for e-invoicing option under Exchange menu. The preview report displays Set of Pending for Generation and Pending for Cancellation transactions. These may be uploaded as is or you may select a set of transactions and upload. Click on Send. Tally Prime will ask for credentials. Once you enter them, the vouchers will be uploaded for e-invoicing. After exchange, a summary is provided with the count of successful generation or cancellation and failures or rejections, if any. The IRN and other details including QR code from the portal will be updated in the vouchers. You can view the e-invoice report to get information on all vouchers for which e-invoice is generated and the ones for which it is pending. In case of rejections, the transactions can be seen in Rejected by e-invoice system bucket of e-invoice report with reasons for rejection. You can resolve the same and re-upload. 
Thank you. For more details, visit help.talisolutions.com.